Educator. Hello, grade one learner. Welcome to our mathematical activities lesson. Today, we are going to look at numbers. We shall look at number concepts. And then we are going to order and sequence items according to their size. Welcome. Now, as you get ready with your pen, a pencil, and a book, I am going to sing for you a song. And it goes like this. Sikiliza mama we, sikiliza mama we, Ni kwambie kitu, ni kwambie kitu. Mikono yangu midogo we haiwezi fanya kazi, haiwezi fanya kazi. Lakini mpenzi mama we, lakini mpenzi mama we, nitakuwa mkubwa, nitakuwa mkubwa. Nitafanya kazi we na wewe upumuzike. Na wewe upumuzike. Lana, did you enjoy the song? You did. Now, look at my hands. And look at your hands. Which one is bigger than the other. Is it my hands or your hands? Correct. My hands are bigger than yours. Another thing I want to ask you, look at your hands. Are your hands clean? Are they clean? Are your nails short? Remember, we have a very deadly disease around. We have COVID-19. And we are told that we should keep our hands clean. We are supposed to keep on washing our hands with soap and running water. You can also use a sanitizer on your hands. Did you get that? Let us stay safe from COVID-19. Now, I want you to look around you. Name for me the different colors that you can see around you. Have you seen color red, blue, yellow, green, and probably even brown? On my chart here, I have bottles bottles of different colors yellow blue green orange and brown now these bottles i am going to order from the smallest to the largest look at my bottles again Bottle E is the largest, while bottle A is the smallest. Remember, we are ordering from the smallest to the largest. 
So we have bottle A is the smallest. If you look at bottle D, it is slightly bigger than the bottle yellow. So it follows bottle yellow. Then the third one will be the green bottle. The fourth one shall be the blue bottle. And lastly, as I had said, the brown bottle is the largest. So if you look, I have ordered from the smallest to the largest bottle. Now, on my table here too, I have some bottles. I have a white bottle. I have a blue bottle, orange bottle, there is a green bottle, and a red bottle. Now, I want us to order the bottles from the largest to the smallest. I want us to order my bottles from the largest to the smallest. So I have the white bottle, which is the largest. The blue bottle follows in size. My orange bottle follows there. I have a green bottle. It will follow. And the red bottle is the smallest bottle so it comes last i have ordered my bottles from the largest to the smallest of my bottles here can you tell me which bottle is the smallest correct the red bottle is the smallest. And which is the largest? Is it the blue bottle? No. Is it the green bottle? No. Could it be the orange bottle? No, my Lana. The white bottle is the largest bottle. Next, what do I have here? I have some cups. We use the cups for drinking water. You can take your juice in the cup. Now, tell me what colors are my cups and I start with this one what color is it it's color yellow very good name the color color red what color is this it's color blue very good and lastly we have color we have color white now you have seen my bottles sorry it's it's the cups i want you to order the cups from the largest to the smallest 
Tell me which is the largest cup? The white cup is the largest. So I put it there. I'm left with three cups, the blue cup, the red cup, and the yellow cup. Of the three cups, which is bigger, or which is large? Correct. My blue cup is larger than the rest. So, it follows there. I'm left with the red cup and the yellow cup. Of the two cups, which one is larger? Is it the yellow cup or the red cup? Very good. The red cup is slightly bigger than the yellow cup. And then the yellow cup is the smallest cup. So I have ordered my cups from the largest to the smallest. Another activity for you. What do we call this? Yeah? What do we call them? And what do we use a spoon for? You can use a spoon for scooping sugar. You can use a spoon for eating and even eating your soap. So I have four spoons here. They are of different sizes. I am going to arrange my spoons from the smallest to the largest. So, this is my smallest spoon. This one is slightly bigger than this one. Look at the three spoons. This one is bigger, this is big. This is small. Then I have the fourth spoon. You can see that I have the smallest spoon and the biggest spoon. We have ordered the spoons from the smallest to the biggest. Again, here I have my lovely plates. I have three plates. The yellow plate is the smallest. The plate in the middle is slightly bigger than the yellow plate. And then the third plate is the biggest of all. So I have big, this is the biggest, this one is slightly big, and this is the smallest plate. Now, I have some work for you to do. I have some paper strips. I have strip A, B, C, D, and E. I want you to arrange the strips from the smallest to the largest. A, B, C, D, and E. Which one is the smallest? Which is the smallest?
the blue strip is the smallest then which one follows the blue strip it is strip e strip e follows strip c then we are left with the green strip the yellow strip and the red strip which one will follow yeah a strip a will follow then i'm left with strip D and B. One is green, the other one is yellow. Between yellow and green, which one will follow? Very good. Strip D, which is green in color, will follow. Then lastly, we have the yellow strip the yellow strip is the largest as you can see my lana we have arranged from the smallest to the largest very good my lana i want us to make patterns and the patterns that you're going to make today we are going to use different shapes look around you and see whether you can see items of different shapes look at the, uh, the table what shape is the table it's rectangle the windows what shape are your windows good there are many shapes around you on my chart here, I have the triangle and circles. I have four triangles and four circles with the triangles and the circle. I have made a pattern. And the pattern goes, I have one triangle, circle. One triangle, circle. One triangle, circle. One triangle, circle. Now, what shape is this? Correct, it is a circle. What shape is this? It's a rectangle. What shape is this? It's a triangle. Now I'm going to use my shapes to make some patterns. I use the first two are circles next I have my triangle
I have two triangles. Lana, if you look at my pattern, I have two circles, two rectangles, and two triangles. If I were to continue with my pattern, what shape would be here? I would put another two circles followed by two rectangles and two triangles. And with that, Lana, we come to the end of our lesson. I want you at home to order and sequence objects in ascending order. At home, my dear Lana, I want you to order and sequence objects according to their sizes. That is in ascending order, like we did from the largest to the smallest. And until next time, bye-bye. I like Eddie Channel because it's an educative channel. It helps people to be respectful to their parents and they can learn more from Eddie Channel. They can see drama.